Hi, and welcome to SAT Biology Review. Um, my name is Liz, and I'm going to be teaching you this subject as it is. Um, before we get started, let me tell you a little bit more about myself. Um, as I said, my name is Liz, and I graduated from Brown University in 2009, and I was pre-med while I was there. So that means I want to be a doctor. Relates well with the whole biology thing. I want to be a doctor, it's the study of life, biology, you know. Okay, so let's get started. Today we're going to be going over the first part of cellular and molecular bio. So the first lesson is going to be on a short thing on elements, water, and the functional groups. So, biological chemistry. Chemistry? But isn't the test on biology and not chemistry? Well, yes, but as you can see, life is actually a sophisticated form of chemistry. Yay! All living things consist of a few of the same types of molecules. And molecules, you know, that's usually like a chemistry thing. But all living things consist of the same types of molecules. The t actual tissues of living things might do different things, might have different purposes, but they're all made up of the same building blocks. So what are these building blocks? What are these molecules that all living things contain? Um, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur are the main elements. The main four are actually carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. In human beings, for example, oxygen makes up 65% of our body weight. So carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, most important main elements. Phosphorus and sulfur are also there and also important. There are a lot of other elements that are also involved in our chemical processes, but these are the main ones. Carbon-containing compounds are called organic compounds, while compounds without carbon are inorganic compounds. So any type of molecule that contains carbon and one of these is called an organic compound. Everything else that doesn't have a com compound, uh, a carbon atom, is an inorganic compound. So we as people, as living things, we are organic. We have carbon in our systems. What is probably one of the most important inorganic molecules, a molecule, again, that doesn't have carbon? Water. Water. Life is probably impossible without water. Not probably impossible. It is impossible without water. That's why whenever people are going into space, they're looking for water on other planets because water means that life exists. Liquid water, in particular, is what's allowed life to evolve and persist on Earth. Here's a picture of the Earth, and as we can see, there's a ton of water on the Earth. The Earth is actually three quarters of the surface of the Earth is covered in water, so it must be important. Water has many important properties, all of which depend on the way the molecule is put together. So the structure of the, of the water molecule gives it a lot of properties that help life forms exist, help life forms grow on the planet Earth. The water molecule. This is a schematic.